just went to the pharmacy. My hair is getting longer. And uh, I guess this is another supply run, but uh, um, I have things to get. But the idea that I had was, um, I guess the question to my viewers or whoever sees this is the new normal. So how do we prepare for this new, uh, new way of living? Do we wear masks constantly? Do we, uh, you know, what do we do? That's the next step and the conversations here. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, you know, post it down below. There's things, a lot of things going on in this world with regards to, I guess, the violence that's happening now, the riots that just happened, um, that kind of news, which is sad. And uh, the case, the cases in Brazil, you know, I, I know this is early now, but I, I predict that Brazil will probably surpass the U.S. in fatalities. Um, how do we get back to work? How do we start the economy? Um, I don't know how long I can manage doing what I'm doing right now. I mean, I'm trying to avoid public as much as I can, but I am a human being. And, you know, it just it's just impossible to not get exposed to this virus if it's that easy to be exposed. Um, I did get another mask that I ordered. I ordered a, a 3D printable mask uh, just because it's get hotter with this. And um, you'll see the aerosol experiment I just did, well, a while back. wasn't what was it it was six feet now they're saying that possibly you need more than six feet and I did an experiment with the aerosols and so we can see that with the aerosols just by spraying it it it, it surpasses the uh, the six feet ratio you know it's just like we had conflicting information the the hydro queen yeah that's another interesting thing I guess there's a lot of scientists disagreeing with what the WHO is stating and the um, CDC with regards to this medication and how it's used with zinc and that the studies that they had the, the Lancet study that it maybe is not um, ethical the way they ran the test or they didn't do an ethical ethics test on it um, and some other things with regards to there's only four doctors with 960,000 patients so I don't know but uh, what else can we talk about just the new normal like this, these people just got out of the, their car and I'm, I'm in my car but uh, uh, it's like it's keeping the six feet distance People are wearing their masks um, when they can. I see, like this guy just rode, rode by with his bike and he didn't have it on. But I mean, hey, you know, he's not near anybody. It's just ridiculous with how we're gonna have to uh, live our life. But that's, we don't have any other choice. So, and then just seeing a, a black and white police officer go by and uh, that mess with regards to killing somebody. I, I just, it's 
just the crime and the people got no money. It's just hard times right here. But besides all that, like, let's not get too far or too depressed. I mean, there's got to be a way to function with this new normal. So, I don't know what I'm saying. Fuck. Pass one, two, uh, there we go. Oh, God. All right. Wow. So, uh, sun's hitting me. Um, looks like, uh, I just got some vitamins, vitamin D3, magnesium, selenium, and um, other, what else did I get? I think that was it. So now I gotta get some hand sanitizer. That's where I'm off to next. Um, now, if those numbers are over inflated, okay, we won't get into that. Um, but what we do wanna look at is the mortality rate. So we look at that mortality rate, and uh, then we look at last year's mortality rate in the same area um, to see if there is a drastic increase in the mortality rate so if, from last year. So if that's the case, then we know that there is something going on and that um, possibly that this is, is a result of, you know, not a bad flu season, but something that is worse. Now we can take that from each place where there's a high um, cases of COVID-19, and then we can look and compare from last year. Um, so it's May now, um, you know, and, and I say, you know, why not just look at last year's total mortality rate and you can put that into the mix and then compare it from the six months that it is now. And you can statistically see a percentage and uh, we can get an idea, a factual idea that, you know, these numbers don't lie. I mean, uh, okay, some, some cases may, but mortality rates, if they're counted for, I mean, you know, there's probably some mortality rates that, you know, can't be counted for, you know, whatever reasons the bodies can't be found. But I'm just saying for the bodies that are found, and, you know, there are people not, not on this planet. Um, we can kind of figure it out and get an idea. So um, to Elon Musk, I guess the question is, is Elon Musk correct in his uh, examination of um, the mortality rate is higher um, or it's been overblown? So, so based on this, this evidence, we can make an educated, calculated guess. That's all I got to say. So let's examine it. Now, yesterday, I guess anybody outside, going outside their home, has to wear a mask in California, Los Angeles specifically. So this is interesting. Now we have the president and the vice president weren't wearing masks. Then their inner circles now have been affected by COVID-19. I mean, my, my, my thing is maybe I'm a little overboard, but I'm like, let's, let's be as safe as we can. What do we have to lose? I mean, the odds are that we'll probably eventually get this because it's so easily spread. But why make it easy for the enemy? If that's the case, why make it easy for the enemy? And I'm saying protect yourself as much as feasibly possible. And that's how you fight this thing. That's why I don't understand this contradictory information that uh, seems to be coming out in the beginning. So 
you know, even though these people in the higher offices are tested every day, that doesn't mean they're protected. Um, I could be walking around, I say, wait 28 days and not have symptoms and spreading the disease. I think it's, I think it's more like 34 days, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm going to, you know, why not go the extra mile? Yeah. And there's other questions that, uh, that I've proposed, not my own, you know, I'm not an expert on this. How do we know it's not a, from a lab? I mean, where is patient zero? Where is the animal that infected all these people? They were saying that it was a, a bat that entered Wuhan. Now they're saying, no, no, no. Now it wasn't in Wuhan. It was in a, somewhere else in southern China that somebody came over and, and, and that's how the people got infected in the wet market. The thing is, you know, we can't be confident and say, Yes, 100%. We don't know. And, I, you know, to see that, to know that, wow, there's smoke coming out of this truck. You got to check this out. What is going on here? See that? Wow. That is crazy. Wow. L.A. living. And on that note, I guess the mask is going to help me. Smoke in the horizon here. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Smoke in the horizon. Uh, let, me, let me stay here for a little bit, a little second. It's grocery shopping, grocery list time. And uh, stay safe, everybody. We'll get through this somehow. I'm very excited for you. I can hear it in your voice. Uh, I, I, yeah. I forgot yeah. I had a Santa Anita thing to do tomorrow, <laughs> which is uh, betting on the race. Oh, man. Um, but I really... Uh, oh, I dropped down a line now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, everybody. All right, buddy, I really appreciate it. You're, uh, you're the best, man.